Hey guys, I am doing a pretty for your face update today. Um, this is not like a full update. It's been so long since I did an update video <laughs> that I can't quite remember what I've shown and what I haven't shown, but this is for um, my last palette that came out, which I failed to do a video for in time before it came out. And then the things that are coming out hopefully next week. I don't have a set date for this yet, but I'm trying to work things out so that I can release it next week. Um, anyway, <laughs> the palette that came out that I didn't get to show you guys was the Golden Girls inspired Thank You For Being A Friend palette. And I think what I'm going to do is try to lower my tripod here. So this is the Thank You For Being A Friend palette. And as usual with all my palettes it has five shades that are inspired by each of the Golden Girls. So you have Pussycat, that is the nickname that Sophia always used to call Dorothy. Um, Sicily for Sophia, because she's always talking about how she's from Sicily. Uh, Saint Olaf, that is for Rose, because again, she would always say, back in Saint Olaf. Um, Southern Belle is for Blanche, because she is obviously a Southern Belle. Um, and then Spornak, that was Dorothy's last name. So these are the five shades, and I will show you what they actually look like inside the palette. So Pussycat is like a very, like a grayish white gold. It's got a lot of shimmer in it. Sicily is a satiny yellow gold, or like a golden yellow, I guess is a better way to describe it. Um, St. Olaf is a very pale matte pink. It's like a semi-matte. Um, Southern Belle is a really cool metallic-y greenish teal. And then Spornak is a metallic taupe. So I'm going to do swatches of these for you. This is Pussycat. This would make a really cool highlighter too, but because it has that gray in it, it would look kind of ashy on some skin tones if I made it into a highlighter. So I thought this was a much better eyeshadow shade. And I'll do a little brush swatch too. Oh, I have like some kind of pink on this brush here. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I've got pink on, the, on there. Oop. That just gave me an idea for another color too because that makes a really pretty rose goldy. But apparently this brush is dirty, so let me clean it off better. This is a really pretty golden yellow, and I don't have a lot of yellows, like, at all in my Pretties for Your Face line of eyeshadows, whether it be just the singles or the eyeshadow palettes, so I was excited to do a yellow. Make sure I'm in focus here because my camera likes to go out of focus a lot. That is what... Sicily looks like. And we're gonna do St. Olaf, and this one is very pale. I didn't want like a massively pigmented pink for Rose for her color. Because that's... She wasn't very like bold with color choices and stuff. So I just wanted a light shade. Uh oh, I hope my brush wasn't still wet there. Oop. So that is St. Olaf. Then we've got Southern Belle, which is like my favorite shade. Well, I don't know, I really love Spornak too. I can't choose, this is like my children because I created all these colors. I really do love this shade though. It's a very deep greenish turquoise, uh, teal, not turquoise, with like some golden metallicness in there. Keep going out of focus. Ugh, oh, this camera's gonna drive me nuts. There we go. <laughs> that is Southern Belle. And now the last shade is Spornak. And that is a metallic taupey shade. And I love 
taupe eyeshadows. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow colors to use, period. So anytime I get to do a taupe shade, I enjoy it. And a hair from my brush just came out of it. This is just an e.l.f. brush, so it's not the best, but I like it to swatch with. So that is Spornak. Those are the five shades in the Thank You For Being A Friend palette. This one is still available. I'm going, I made, I was going to just have this one be a limited edition one originally, but it got so much attention and like so many people wanted it that I've decided to just make it a permanent one. So there you go, there's that. It is available at prettiesforyourface.com and that one is $20. All my eyeshadow palettes these five pan ones are $20. So now I'm going to introduce to you the next collection that I've been working on. Out of all the collections I've done, this one has taken me the longest because I wanted it to be perfect. So it's a Hamilton inspired collection because my first Hamilton eyeshadow palette is still my best selling palette. So I wanted to do kind of like a part two eyeshadow palette and then I did a highlighter palette and I did a bath bomb as well. So this is the bath bomb. And it is a gold star. It turns the water like a golden yellow. This gold glitter that's all of it is biodegradable, so you don't have to worry about it going down the drain and everything. It just dissolves. And it, it's not harmful to the environment like regular glitter is. And it smells really, really good. The scent of it is bergamot and black tea. I wanted to do some sort of tea scent because it is Hamilton inspired and you know like the Boston Tea Party and everything. Um, so I wanted it to have to do with tea. But this smells so good and the name of it is awesome. Wow! I really wanted to um, incorporate that line from the play. So that is the awesome wow bath bomb. Now I can't decide if I want to show you the eyeshadow palette or the highlighter first. So I'm, I'm going to show you the eyeshadow palette first. Um, this one is called Talk Less, Smile More. My first one was the Not Throwing Away Your Shot palette. So this is kind of reverse what the other one was. The other one had gold with a black star, and this one's uh, black with a gold star, and then a little Hamilton um, silhouette in the middle. And the colors in this one... I might redo this back before I actually release it because the colors came out so light and they're actually darker than this. I don't know what was up with that, but this little silhouette has like music notes in there, if you can see. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but the colors are A Winter's Ball, Right Hand Man, A Dot Burr, Rise Up, and Say No to This. So I wanted to make this totally the opposite of the first Hamilton inspired palette. So this one is very earth tone and neutral. Um, the first palette had like a bright orangey red in it. It had a very bold gold. Um, it had like an apricot color, uh, a purple and a bold like navy blue. So this one is a very everyday neutral, super nice palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, even though you can't see them, but I wanted to show you. This is going to be like such a great everyday, pretty much for anyone <laughs> uh, palette because it's very, very neutral and it, that's something that I have not done with a palette before as well, so that's another reason I wanted it to be very neutral. So a Winter's Ball is a matte cream and I will show you what that looks like. This is just a really nice color for like an all over base shade to buff out other shades, anything like that. So I'm gonna, you're probably not even gonna be able to see it because it's the same exact color of my skin. Let's see. Oop, maybe if it's not blurry. Yeah, you can't really see it that well. That kind of sucks. Let's see if I can, you can see it better on the brush. That kind of helps. See? <laughs> but unfortunately, it's not going to show up good on me because I am very pale and this is a very pale shade. Oop. Yeah, that's not, not the greatest representation. 
the best you can see is like how it picks up on the brush and everything. Let me give you a shot of that if it will. Keeps the camera keeps trying to focus on the the mat that I have this on. So unfortunately, you can't really see it that great because it blends in with me too much. But that is a winter's ball. And the next one is Right Hand Man. This is kind of a metallic brownie color. It's like a light, a medium brown with some little gold shimmer in there. So that is Right Hand Man. Super duper pigmented. Let me give you a brush swatch of that. And do one more coat. Oops. That is Right Hand Man. We have A Dot Burr. This was inspired directly from one of the costumes that Aaron Burr wears. It's kind of like this exact color. It's like a satiny purple with a dark base. So cool. I thought this was an awesome color to include in the palette. That's what that one looks like. And we'll do a brush swatch of that. Am I in focus? Yes. This one has a very soft, like, satiny feel to it, which I really like. And that is A dot burr. I was smart this time and grabbed my little uh, like color switch thing, so that's making it a lot easier to do swatches with the brush. <clears throat> All right, the next one is Rise Up. It's this really pretty green with a little bit of gold to it. This is inspired by one of the outfits or the jackets that Hamilton wears. I've never actually seen the play unfortunately, <laughs> but I've seen lots of pictures and like clips of it and little bootlegs, which I know you shouldn't watch bootlegs, but that's the only way I'm ever going to see that play. Um, so this is Rise Up. That is what Rise Up looks like. A very pretty like jewel toned emerald green. And the last shade, which is Say No to This, that is of course inspired by the Mariah Reynolds song. I initially wanted it to be like a bright red because of the dress that she wears, but it didn't really go with the rest of the palette and I wanted to like view the palette as a whole and I do a lot of reds in palettes because I can't seem to get away from that. So I was like, no, I'm going to change it. This is a very kind of like a rose, um, what am I trying to say? A rose pink with silvery sparkles in there. And this looks so pretty over the A dot burr color. Um, if you, cause this is more of a satin finish. If you want to add sparkle to this, you can just put this right over it cause it's very complimentary. So this is the say no to this color. This one doesn't swatch the best with a brush but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Just because the texture of this one is a little different from the others, but when you have a base on your eyes, it works just fine. So I do want to show you what it looks like over the A dot burr shade. So I'll put some of that right there, and then we'll put a little bit of this over it. See how it just gives it some extra sparkle? I don't know how well that showed up. Let me do. It makes it slightly more pink and gives it some sparkle. Super pretty. So I am really, really happy with how this palette turned out. Um, very excited about that. It's got a nice cream base shade in there. I think this is a palette a lot of people are going to like because it is a nice neutral palette. You have a little pop of color with the green, but it's not like an insanely bright green or anything. So that is the 
Talk Less, Smile More palette. And now this is my first, a lot of firsts with this collection. This is my first ever highlighter palette. So it is a three pan palette. It's called A Mind at Work. This artwork was done for me by Marshall from Zini Laney. Um, and there is like a variant artwork as well where the, um, the Skylar sisters are colored. So look out for that too. I might make it so that you can order whichever one you want on the website. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet, but there are two, two different covers that you can get. Um, so this is a three pan palette. It's based on the Skylar sisters. It has three different shades and of course they're named Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. And they're showing up super light on this. I think because of the, the plastic reflection and everything from the um, what do you call it? <laughs> the camera and the light behind it. Um, so these are the three shades and they are based on the Skylar Sisters dresses. So these are 36 millimeter palettes and they are absolutely gorgeous. I can't get over how pretty these are and I'm not just saying that because I made them. Um, so Angelica's is a, let me just show you, Angelica's is a peach with some gold in it. I will show you like a thick swatch and then what it looks like blended out. So because I don't put um, like talc and fillers and stuff in my highlighters, they work on any skin tone without being ashy. So as you can see there's no like white in there that's going to be ashy on a darker skin tone. It's just super reflective and uh, I love these highlighters so much I've been using them constantly. So this is Angelica's shade. It is a peachy like apricot with gold and that is of course based on based on the dresses that they wear in a good chunk of the play but they um they're wearing this when they sing A Mind at Work, which is why the palette is titled A Mind at Work. Um, I need to go grab another wipe so I can clean off my hand, but that is one last look at Angelica. If my camera will focus. No. There it goes. Angelica. So, Eliza's... Why did I just say it like that? Eliza. <laughs> this one is a seafoam, uh, like a seafoam green. Green. God, can I talk today? <laughs> this is the color of her dress that she's wearing during that song. And again, it has a little bit of like a gold reflex in it. Oops. So that is just swatched and then what's left on my finger. You can see it's not going to be super green on you when you use it lightly. I'll take some from over here and blend it out. So that is Eliza. I'm trying to get the light to hit it as much as I can so you can see. My skin is getting all red from all the swatches I'm doing. But that is Eliza. You can see how crazy it is with just one swipe and then when you blend it out of course you can build it up to be like that, but when I wear them, I like to use them like that. And they're not like super glittery glittery. They got nice shimmer to them, so I really like the formula. Now the last one, which is dot 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 and Peggy. <laughs> this one is kind of like a lime, a yellowish lime. Hopefully you can see right there. They're like crazy pigmented, so I'm trying not to do crazy swatches with them, but that's what that one looks like. And I'm going to grab a little bit more so I can do a blended out swatch for you. So that is and Peggy. That one's more, you have the seafoam green and then this one was more of a yellowy lime green. So I tried to capture her dress as best as I could with a makeup shade. 
and I think I did pretty decently. You guys can let me know in the comments, but I'm so excited for this highlighter palette because I've been wanting to do a highlighter palette for so long, and it was just a matter of finding um, packaging for it because it's really hard to find, like, smaller... How do I describe it? Smaller pan packaging because like with the eyeshadow palettes I do five pan palettes because if I did like a 10 or 12 pan palette I make all these myself and press them all myself it's just gonna be like insane work right now <laughs> so hopefully one day when I grow I can do bigger palettes but for now this is what I stick with so when I was trying to find highlighter palettes all I could find were like six would be kind of pushing it but like six pan to twelve pan palettes and that's just way too much work for me like not that I couldn't do it but I would be killing myself trying to get them all out um because I do have a bigger following now than when I first started pretties for your face and if they sold out it would be like super stressful <laughs> to be making twelve pan palettes constantly so this is what we're working with right now is a three pan highlighter palette for now. I want to in the future kind of just um, sell some highlighter palettes like this that are maybe blank with like my logo on the front and have them be like choose your own highlighters so you can pick three off the site. Let me know if you think that's a good idea because that's something I want to work on as well. But for now this is my first highlighter palette, the A Mind at Work palette. And so this, the Talk Less Smile More palette, let me zoom out here, and the Bath Bomb are going to be released very soon. I wish I had my release date set while I'm recording this, but I don't. But if you follow me on Instagram, that's the best way to keep up with updates. I also have a Facebook group, um, it's just PFYF. And the Facebook page for the shop is Prettiest for Your Face, so you can just type those into Facebook and they come up. But that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this and the swatches and everything. And the Thank You for Being a Friend palette is already available. So if you liked that one, you can grab that now. Um, and this stuff will be out very soon. I just wanted to get a swatch video out in case you guys are interested so you know whether or not you want to buy this stuff. So that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will. I already said that. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video.